too. Yes. Welcome. Thanks. Welcome to Pikawai. Yeah, thank you. Another stunning day in the Eastern oh, Bay of Plenty. Beach. It's beautiful, right? Yeah. 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 Really excited to uh, learn a bit more about Kontiki fishing today. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we're here to do some Kontiki fishing. By the way guys, this is Chris and Ada. Hi guys. <laughs> and uh, they have a really uh, nice little accommodation here for fishers like us. And they invited us to stay here for a couple of nights. So I leave all the links in the description below so you can check it out later. Uh, it's a real cool place as you can see right next to the beach. And Chris also uh, does a lot of surf casting and kontiki fishing and he can help you guys if you're interested in that. He can show you the ins and out and if you don't know if Kontiki fishing is right for you yet? Yeah, contact us and uh, you know find out more. <laughs> okay, so this is a lean, mean fishing machine. Yeah, this is uh, a Kontiki I've made up out of an old Kontiki that I had, but using a power tiki body. Right. Yeah. Yep. So the main part of this here, the propulsion unit. This is a 46-pound thrust motor which okay. is quite powerful. Yeah, yeah. They go down from 30 up to about 52. They use a more powerful... These are generally used on the west coast of the North Island where they've got big swells. Right. But it's 46, but obviously there's the propeller. It's the thing that drives it. Yeah. And in, inside, uh, electrics. Um, nothing complicated, very simple. Yeah, yeah. And here it's driven by these two 12-volt uh, batteries which are connected into the plugs inside the Kontiki. Right, so yeah. that gives us uh, enough um, power. These batteries are powerful enough to give you about uh, three different sets of maybe th up to 30 minutes. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So inside the Kontiki is a timer unit yeah. and it's a graduated from five minutes to 30 okay. every five minutes. So 5, 10, 15, 20, yeah. depending on how far you want it to go out. So everything's uh, conditional on the conditions of the day yeah. and where I get intelligence from a lot of other fishermen around the area, particularly yeah. Kontiki fishermen, yeah, about yeah. how far they're putting their Kontiki and where the fish are, yeah, the fish are yeah, 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 on yeah, that yeah. particular day exactly. or the night before, the day before. So, so the main uh, parts of a Kontiki basically yeah. is the um, motor, motor yep. which is a trolling motor basically, yep. trolling an electric motor. trolling motor. Yep. You got the body. Yes, I've got a very important thing. This is a strobe light. So this uh, goes off in, in the dark and it's very useful for finding your, seeing how far out the Kontiki is during the night. This one here is um, flashes green and red so you can see it for quite a few kilometers out to sea very oh, strong light so you need yes. that for night fishing yes yeah well i put it on all the time even yeah. during the day because if you lose your kontiki yeah you know um, you've got a good idea about where to go to in the at the night to get right. it back and the uh, flag is also the compulsory flag, yes well yeah. everybody uses a flag because i've got these flags made up out of uh, high-vis vests okay. which you can buy for very cheap yeah, i got yeah. quite a few of them made and it's uh, with the reflector strip on it it glows really brightly in the sun right you yeah, know sunlight yeah. so you can see it from a long way because that's important <laughs> for boating and stuff yes. when, when boats come past so yes. they see your kontiki from a distance and mm -hmm. know it's there mm -hmm. another important thing is on a kontiki you always have to leave your phone number right yes in case absolutely. someone uh, in case it gets lost, lost. or someone mm -hmm. finds it then mm -hmm. uh, you want the uh, mm -hmm phone number or contact details on that, there so people right. can return Some people it. put them inside the hatch rather than on, uh, inside here oh, with, okay. with the batteries but you can do both if you like. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and then a Kontiki has basically a hatch here and on this yeah, hatch, hatch that's where the battery goes. Yes, batteries, yep. And you're using even a lithium battery for this yes, one. Uh, yes, yeah. a lithium and a lead together. Yeah, but yeah. it doesn't matter, I mean they come with two lead batteries. Yeah, yeah. But I use lithium to give me a, a longer run. Yeah, okay. More, more sustainability. So the first thing to the start with Kontiki fishing, the night before you charge up all the batteries. Batteries, yes. So you get everything ready to go then. Yeah. Yep, and you got a nice hold off for this yes. on your... Yeah. Um, on my quad. On your quad So it just holds yeah. it in place when yeah. you're driving. Mm -hmm. 
Lots and of so people, lots of people when they well, that I've seen on the beach, if they don't have a quad bike, they yeah. make up uh, little trolleys yes. and sort of yes. drag it to the beach that way. Yep, or, or straight from the back of a vehicle. Yeah. So these are very short traces. I prefer short traces so they don't get tangled on the on the the main line so easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Generally, they can be you know 800 or 900 long. These are only 500, and they've got a clear plastic tube on them, which stops a lot of tangling. Yeah. Yeah. So for contiki fishing here in New Zealand, 25 hooks is the limit, right? Hooks, That's the yes. maximum we can put onto a long line. Yes. And basically, what the contiki does, it, it tows out a long line, which yeah. is on this reel there. Yeah, on the winch. On the winch. Yeah. Yep. So this is an electric winch. People use hand winches, but it's a big job to pull something. So it's got a clip on it, and that's the tow line here. So this clips onto the contiki. That's right. And, and the contiki tows that out, and those traces that you've just shown us now, yeah, yep. they clip, then clip, clip on onto the line you can see while that. it's being towed out. Yeah. You take that out. So here's the main line. Yep. So you clip the traces onto that at specific things. Yep, so yep. there's some stoppers, stoppers. Mm -hmm. stoppers in, an, in 10 meter um, or 5 meter or so yep. Or, uh, yep. Um, sections. Yes. And then those traces that you've just shown us, they uh -huh. just clip onto that line mm -hmm. and while the contiki is going out, you just mm -hmm. clip them on one after another. That's right. And this is a battery, solar battery with a speed regulator on it that pulls the winch back in again. Yeah. So this winch has got, a, generally people have about 2,000 meters of line. Okay, yeah. But if you're meters. doing, if you're doing uh, say, t a 20 minute set, as they call it, everything's a set, generally that's about between 12 and 1,300 meters out. Okay. Depending yeah. on the conditions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's the basic setup. You know, I've got it put on a quad just for convenience. Yeah. It's a very old quad, but I only ever use it for the beach. And, and we I've got, got the, the we got the motor here to motor for, um, the winch. To, for the winch. Yes. You made yourself a nice swivel out of a bicycle carrier. Eh? Bicycle carrier there. Yep. Yeah. And that yeah. is just so when you reel it in later, yep. or when you, you let can, it out, that you, you can swivel and yeah, angle. Yeah, well, when it's going out, it swivels itself. Yeah. But it means that I can um, put the line on evenly when it's coming back in. Uh, on here, I've also put, you'll see, some uh, LED headlights, which is great for uh, overnight, for nighttime. Glove to just stop your hands from being cut on the winch because it's going out at quite a speed. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we put a bungee cord over here when it's going out to keep tension on the line so it doesn't right. overrun because if it overruns it can get tangled around here and then you've got to, oh, you're right. pulling against the motor of the Contiki, yeah, which is yeah, quite yeah. powerful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's the uh, same like drone fishing, you always yeah. want to keep a bit of tension, tension on, on the line. Yeah. 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 So that's the basic setup for me, it works for me. You know, I've changed things and uh, built things and modified things yeah, yeah. over the last two years that I've been Contiki fishing. Yeah. Up till then I was a boat and um, rod fisherman. Right. I okay. had no experience with Contikis, whatever, but you learn pretty quickly on this beach yeah, yeah, about yeah. what works and what doesn't. On some beaches uh, you kind of need a Contiki. I mean, it's yes. hard to launch a boat here, but yes. a Contiki you just uh, send it out and off your fishing, right? That's right. It's, not it's actually a pretty simple setup. I mean, there's lots of stuff to it, but once you set it up, it's mm -hmm. uh, very simple to go fishing with. It only takes you a couple of minutes to come down to the beach, set That's it right. up and have your Contiki out there. And as you, as you said, a lot of people who come um, staying at the local motor camps, yeah. they come and walk along the beach and they ask me because they've never seen a Contiki in action. So it's a lot of people stop and want to know about how they work. Yeah, they've yeah. seen them, Con people launching them, but don't actually have anything. So anybody who's considering buying a Contiki, yeah. I'm certainly ha happy to have them over here for a few days and, and show them the fundamentals and how they all work. And then they can decide whether they want to proceed with Because yeah, yeah. there's a big capital cost. Well, yeah, there can yeah. be a big capital cost if you buy them directly from the shop. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's always got to try before you buy. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So we're gonna uh, set up the contiki um, uh -huh. in the evening. Mm -hmm. 
but we're going to take it out maybe one or two times uh -huh. eh? and yes. see what we can catch. Mm -hmm. Also going to do a bit of drone fishing at the same time and a bit of surf casting, see what we can catch. The fishing has been pretty slow here, right? It's, it has been slow, yes. Uh, it's, it's not the best time of the year that we're here at the moment. We'll see if we can catch something anyhow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course, I leave all the links in the description below, so check out uh, okay. Chris's Facebook page. You can get in contact with him if you want to learn a little bit more about this year and okay. stay in this beautiful area. This is Kontiki is called Te Morihu, the survivor. Pretty cool name for Kontiki. And there's also a story to it. If you go and visit Chris, you'll find out more about why it's called the survivor. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed our video about Kontiki fishing. And if you want to catch more fish, then you got to check out the best fishing times, tide times, fishing weather to plan your trips, of course. So head over to fishingreminder.com as well. Links in the description below. Give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video, guys. All right, cheers. That's, that's, uh, that's it for, uh, that's us for now. Cheers. <laughs>